Let's go to NTSC 2017 Stage 1 Mental Ability Discussion Session. We have a series here A, B, G, J, and we need to find out the missing terms. So we can see that between A and B we have C, B, C. So we have A, then B, C, then we have D. Then we have missing terms E, F, then G. Then we have missing terms H, I, then J. So we will have missing terms K, L, and the last one will be M. So this is the Uh, we have a series here, we have LO, JQ, HS, and we need to find out the last term. So we can see the first terms, a uh, pattern between the first terms L, J, and H. We can see that H, then we have I missing J, K missing L. So what will we have here? F, G missing, and F. So we will have the first term as F. Now let's see the second terms O, Q, S, and we can see that the missing term is O, P, Q, R, S. Then we will have T and then we will have U. So what we will have F U. Again we have series A, C, F, J, O and we need to find out this term. Uh, let's try to find out what is the pattern. We have missing terms here B. Then, then we have two missing terms D, E. Then we have three missing terms F, G, G H and I. Then between these we have four missing terms. K, L, M and N. So from this we will have, we should have five missing terms. So P, Q, R, S, and T. Then we should have here Q. Uh, now we have a little big series. ZXV, TRP, NLJ. We need to find out the last term. So let's try to find out the pattern between the terms. Let's take the first term Z, T, and N. Let's see how many terms are there. This is the way. This is the direction. So N, O, P. Q, R and S. So we have 5 missing terms. Let's see how many terms we have. P, U, V, W, X and Y. Again we are having 5 terms. So we should have 5 terms. So what we should have here? We should have here H. Then we will I, J, K, L and M. So these are the so first term should be H. Now from the options, uh, we have only 2 terms, 2 options which are having H. Now let's see, instead of taking all, just take the last and see the pattern J, P and V. Again we can see here that we have how many terms between this? K, L, M, N and O. So we have 5 terms. Then we have Q, R, S, T and U. Again 5 terms. Then what terms should we have here? Uh, we should have here D. E, F, G, H and I. So we should have here D. So the last term should be D. So from the options we can see that H of D is the only option. So H of D is the correct answer. Okay, this is the series. Let's analyze the pattern. We can see that this is the square of 11, square of 12, square of 13. So what should be missing? Square of 14. So we, what we will have here? 196. Okay, what pattern can we see here? 5 into 2 is 10. 10 into 2 is 20. So 20 into 2 will be 40 and 40 into 2 will be 80. So we have 40 is the correct answer. Uh, what pattern we see here? 4, 8, 9, 27. So this is square of 2 and then cube of 2. Then we have square of 3 and then we have cube of 3. Then we have square of 4, then we will have cube of 4 which is 64. Then square of 5 and cube of 5. Okay, let's see the pattern here. We have 2 and then nothing, nothing missing, then 3. Then we have 4 missing, then we have 5. Then we have 6, 7 missing, then we have 8. Then we should have 3 number missing 9, 10, and 11. Then we should have 12 here. Then we have 4 number missing 13, 14, 15, 16, and then we have 17. So we have 12 here. In this question, we have 2 statements and 2 conclusions. The first statement says that all dance, all dancers are singers. So we have a set of dancers, and all dancers are singers means we have a bigger set of singers. And also to give it, all singers are teachers. Then we have a bigger set of teachers, and all dancers are teachers. Now we have two conclusions. The first conclusion says that all dancers are teachers, which is true because 
the dancer is subset of teacher so which is true all dancers are teachers and the second subset says that the second conclusion says that some singers are dancers which is also true because we have this set of singers and some singers are dancers which is also true in this question uh, two statements are given and two conclusions are given the statement which is given is that some fruits are mangoes so i take fruits and it says that some fruits are mangoes so i can say that in this case some fruits are mangoes means not all fruits but some fruits are mangoes but again if we take the general case then i would take the case where some non fruits are also mangoes so i can take this case these are not mangoes and some fruits are mangoes okay and some non fruits are also mangoes is possible and the second statement says that some fruits are not guavas so again if we take some general case which i said that this is the category of not guavas so some fruits are not guavas and some non fruits are also not guavas now the conclusion says that all fruits are mangoes which is not true all fruits are not mangoes because you know that some fruits are mangoes so all fruits are not mangoes because these are not mangoes so said conclusion 1 is not true and the conclusion 2 says that all mangoes are fruits which also not true because you can see that all mangoes are not fruits these are these part are non fruits so conclusion 2 is also incorrect in this we have two statements again the first statement said no horse is a dog so we have a horse here but no horse is a dog so dog and horse they have nothing in common and it is given that all dogs are elephants so the dog will go within the set of elephant but we can have some overlapping part also if i draw a general case then all dogs are elephants and we can have some overlapping part also so these are the two statements now the two conclusion says that the first conclusion says that no elephant is a horse but which is not true because we have some overlapping part so the first conclusion is wrong no elephant is a horse is not correct and the second statement says that second statement says that some elephants are dogs which is true because we have these elephants and some elephants are dogs so the second conclusion is correct here we have to find out the correct venn diagram related to quadrilaterals rectangles and squares so we have a general quadrilaterals we know that and we know that uh, rectangles are also quadrilaterals so all the rectangles should go within quadrilaterals and we know that all squares are also rectangles so the squares will go within rectangles so this is the correct option we have to find out the correct option regarding the venn diagrams for female mother and doctor so if this is my female and then we know that all mothers are females so mother will go inside no doctor not necessary all mothers are doctors or all females are doctors male can also be doctor so we can have an or and part where these males are doctors then some females are doctors and some mothers are doctors in this venn diagram this triangle is representing teachers this rectangle is representing writers and the circle is representing artists with some overlapping parts now we need to find out total number of teachers so the total number of uh, numbers within the triangle so 10 plus 12 plus 6 plus 3 if we add what we get here 31 so we have total 31 teachers now here we need to find out all the artists which are also writer also writer but not teacher okay so this is my artist and these are which are also writer so we need all the part of the circle and the rectangle so we have this is the all the part in the circle and rectangle so 8 and 6 but we want the numbers which are not teachers so we have to remove the numbers within the triangle so remove this number which is in the triangle so only number which is left is 8 so which is artist circle and also write a rectangle but not triangle so number 8 so 8 are the artists which are writers but not teacher here we need to write remove the odd one out so let's see the pattern we have two consecutive ab and then by side are two consecutive but we have some numbers in between also again we have ef and uv but we have some numbers in between missing then we have ij and qr again with consecutive but we have some numbers in between missing but here mn and op all four are consecutive it means this could be the odd one out here here we find out the odd one this is 10 cube 
and the 100 square by 10 is again 10 cube then 2 cube into 5 cube 2 into 5 10 cube only this number is not 10 cube so this is all about here we can see that these three are continents but this is an ocean so this is the organ out here we can see that Nepal, Pakistan and Sri Lanka these three are the countries of Asia where Australia is a continent so Australia is the organ out uh, for this die we need to find out the number opposite the number 3 now let's try to erase the pattern we have 1 3 here and also 1 3 here then on, the, on this combination, on this side we have 5 so this is going 3, on this combination we have 5 so we have 5 down again we have here 2 3 and then 2 3 and then on this combination 2 3 we have 4 on this side so 2 3, 4 on this side we have 4 on this side so what we are left with, we are left with 6 so opposite side of 3 should be equal to 6 uh, in this two positions of a dice are given and then we need to find out the number which is opposite to 1 so from here we can see that we have 3 common here and also we see that when 2 is the number then 6 is also the number so we can very easily see that this number should be 2 and this number should be 6 because if we turn it like this I will get like this 3 will be here and this 2 will go on the top and the 6 will go here okay again if we turn it here roll it here like this so this is 3 the 2 will come here and the 6 will go on the top so this is the correct so the board combination we have uh, assumed is correct so it means we have what number is left is uh, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 only one is left so what should be here so the number which is opposite to 1 is 3. So the number which is opposite to 1 is 3.